<laughs> right. Ultima 9 Ascension, the final game in the series. Particularly well known for being rushed, bugged, flawed, completely uh, overruns all the continuity of every other game. And in fact, doesn't even follow on directly from where <laughs> it, where it finished off in Ultima 8. So it's a bit of a clusterfuck. And not only is it that the problem, on a modern system, it just doesn't want to play the movies, full motion video sequences, cinematics or whatever you want to call them, on OBS. So the only way I can get it to work on a stream is to actually queue up videos in a video player and have that as a separate window and overlay it. So if you're watching this on Twitch, it's going to be annoying. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have edited in the videos properly. So uh, bear with me. But hopefully the game is not going to go up its own ass. So... To begin, we actually need to play the intro. Touch the damn thing, it goes wrong. Hooray! Avatar, arise from your slumber. The Guardian has invaded Britannia, and Lord British has summoned you for your final adventure. In order to view your surroundings, simply move your mouse. If you wish to move, press and hold the right mouse button. You can also use the cursor to interact with objects. When you are close enough to use an object, the cursor will turn green if placed over the object. If you wish to use the object, click the left mouse button. For my next piece of counsel, left click on the golden arm that will appear by your bed. Okay, so, if you recall, we um, escaped from Pagan by becoming the Titan of Ether. We walked through the glowy place with all the pillars in our sparkly white and gold armor instead of the red and gray. We then appeared back in another world, which we assume is Britannia, on a, a rock outcropping wearing a like centurion-esque helmet and a robe and were greeted with a giant guardian face and that's where it left uh, as a cliffhanger for starting Ultima 9 so we wake up in bed at home on earth naked as you can see the continuity thing is a bit yeah what 
what's actually happening this is a little tutorial area to get you used to playing the game because it's the first fully 3d one they've done um, you know and uh, your first task is to prepare for your adventure a lot of people uh, Make sure you collect weren't all used of to your full 3d environments your home. it should have been optional Many objects are operable it will be useful for you to experiment perhaps you should try to turn on the lights in your room Right. Just move close enough to the light yeah. switch. Surely you will not go adventuring without clothes. Won't be the first time. I think your clothes are in the bathroom through the other door. I have marked special items of interest, so be sure to examine these. Okay. Now I've applied a fan patch, and it's actually running a bit worse, but it does fix some problems. So, uh... Here's a list of skills you must learn to test form before departing Earth for Britannia. Read one section at a time, then fill it described. Look with the mouse, use items, a maximum amount of special interest, get dressed. Equip your tool belt. More items of interest downstairs. Get your backpack, get the gate keys, get the compass, don't forget your journal. Load your game. Some food might be nice. Use next test train combat. Find your weapons inside. Play hopscotch, like what, left, right, back, just jump. Leave your yard, explore. Watch out for wolves, swimming, your friend Hawkwind, the seer. So, the seer, who hasn't been around since Ultima 4, is now talking to me at home. Okay, so here's my backpack. There is the key. We're on line two. When was that available? Two thousand. Uh, Patchy longbow two. All of them online. Ultimate two. Ultima s the complete Ultima seven. God, this mouse speeds a bit quick. Okay. Now, I've played this before. Again, I can't remember everything, but I can remember certain things, especially certain things that you must do before you leave Earth. So we'll do those. I know it's the tutorial zone, but... Forty minutes till seven. It's an odd way of doing it. Journal. So the journal is, like, very important. We save everything. It's in the game, it's in the game. So, six. We'll get used to the very, 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 very fast rotating camera. Keyboard commands. A map of whom? So I live up in the top corner there. And uh, the lake, uh, gypsy caravan, um, and a tent. Is that it, really? Why I need a map of my home? Okay, now. Being interactive. What? No! I didn't eat that. Okay, so here we have a lovely bread maker. Which just makes bread. Some meat. Um, I am actually looking for something that I can't find. Ah, there we go. On top of the fridge is some rat poison. You can poison the cheese and kill the rat because it's interactive. There's something else we wish to do first. I'm not clicking on that. Uh, 
so. I cannot actually remember how to get mouse pointer mode. First person. It's combat. We need to go back to the keyboard controls bit. We also need to start using the keyboard to walk around because it's annoying me. Use item, take item, left click and drag. Read books, close books, and examine. Hand mode is Q. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Right. Mr. Breadmaker, like Mr. Coffee. So. We can put the rat poison in the bread maker and make some lovely poisoned bread. And there is a reason for that. There's also something else, if I recall. To remember, if you open the fridge a certain number of times, something happens. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Why it would put a severed head on a spike in there? Don't actually know. You still have much to learn before you travel to Britannia. Hello, Pooch. Visit the training area on the northwest side of your house. You got cold. Okay. <sighs> Visit the tra uh, the controls are still peeing me off. So obviously you're supposed to click on the uh, the old jumping is back. We're not quite. Well, maybe, I was about to say we're not quite fucking Super Mario like we were last time, but we still jump pretty far from a standing position. No camping. Okay. So we should be able to use the key to unlock this. Hooray. Britannia can be a dangerous place. So be sure to practice your combat and once you feel you have mastered them, seek out the gypsy who will guide you on your journey. Ah, C to climb. Animals in park are not tame and may cause injury. Alright, fucking hell. Lay it on a bit thick. Okay, so money hopefully weighs... Oh, we don't appear to have weight, so that's a good thing. So there's my journal. Arrows, the poison bread. Rot. For a very specific purpose. Now, what did it say? It said go swimming, didn't it? And it said fight some animals. There's a big rat over there, so we'll go and fight that in it. No fires. So it says about You'll swimming. Find that swimming is easy. Oh, good. While moving, look down to dive down and look 
look up to swim back to the surface. If you hold the control or all keys while swimming, you'll be able to swim. I'll be able to swim. Uh, left and right. There's nothing under here. I don't think I have a breath bar. What's all that about? Ah, I see there's something behind the, uh, the waterfall. Maybe things that we need to uh, break open. Kill a swarm. Yep. Spiders. Ugh. Well, you're fast for me. And you too carry gold. Awesome. There's a giant rat and some sort of brigand. But we're on Earth. Well, I must confess, having like a, a highwayman come and attack you on Earth is much better than just getting mugged by a druggie. Goats. Another rat. Another easily killed rat. More arrows. Considering this is Earth, it's a very dangerous place, this. It's like you bred a training ground near your own house. Okay. Now. We are about to experience something that we have not yet had. Oh, for fuck's sake, the mouse is just so quick, it's ridiculous. Keeps spinning me around. So, Ultima 8, we had a speech pack. You will notice people are actually talking. Okay, so we've pretty much played a paladin throughout after the later ultimas. So that's what I'm going to do. So obviously I need to go for the path of honour. Suggests that it's the same house that you have in all of five. Sorry, all the six. <laughs> Excuse me while I just. 
climb over here and oh, rob you, apparently. Ethical hedonism, a philosophical, philosophical muse on the meaning of life and how one should live it by Richard Garrett, 1999. It's an actual book written by Lord British. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going to save. Which I can't remember how to do. There we go. In case I get this wrong. And then we should have a cutscene after I've done this. Which may or may not work. Greetings, Avatar. Britannia awaits. This will be your ultimate challenge. The final battle for the destiny of Britannia. I don't think I'm if sat on the chair journey, properly. You will never return to Earth again. Nor shall you return to Britannia. Are you now prepared for this most important quest? Hmm. Okay, so we'll never come back to Earth and we'll never return to Britannia. What journey? Now, before we begin, there is a patch, a fan patch, that removes all audio dialogue from the game and replaces a lot of the um, text with what was called the Bob White plot, which was the original plot, which people, the fans considered to be a lot better, blah, blah, blah. This is the game we got. This is how I'm going to play it. I've added patches to fix the bugs, but I have not changed the dialogue or anything like that. Or the voice audio. Although I may regret that, as you will soon find out. What journey? Long have you been the savior of Britannia. Eight times before you have made this trip and saved Britannia from utter destruction. This time, you must finish the task. It's more For than after eight. this journey, your future lies on a different path. Have you mastered combat, swimming, and the use of your equipment? What future path? This I cannot see. I only know it to be true. Are you ready? I am prepared. Good. Then let us begin the I am reading. prepared. I shall ask you a series of seven questions. Give each question serious consideration. Your answers shall determine how you will begin your journey to Britannia. In your youth, you pledged to marry your sweetheart, but are now on a sacred quest in distant lands. If your sweetheart asked you to keep your vow, would you show honor or spirituality? Well, I need to be a paladin, so I will honor my pledge. Honor my pledge to wed. During a pitched battle, you see a fellow knight desert his post, endangering many as he flees. If you saw him set upon by several enemies, would you show justice or sacrifice? Um, sacrifice. Risk the sacrifice of my own life to save him. Ultimately, I need to end up with honor as options. You are a simple fisherman, yet also a skillful swordsman. If your lord sought to assemble a ceremonial peacetime guard, would you show valor or humility? Answer the call so that all may witness my valor. You are entrusted to deliver an uncounted purse of gold. If you met a poor beggar, would you show honesty or compassion? Paladin, Deliver the honest, gold huh? honestly, knowing the trust in me was well placed. Not seeing honor pop back up. During ah, battle, you are ordered to guard your commander's empty tent. If the battle went poorly and you yearned to aid your fellow knights, would you show valor or honor? Uh, honor? honor my commander's order and guard my post. You and your friend are valiant but penniless warriors, and you both set forth to slay a mighty dragon. Your friend believes he slew the beast. If the killing blow was yours, would you show honesty or sacrifice? Mm. 
sacrificed the gold for the sake of his friendship. Come on, give me all that. Yes. You are a bounty hunter sworn to return an alleged murderer. If after his capture you came to believe him innocent, would you show sacrifice or honor? Honor my oath to return him as promised. Avatar, you have favored the virtue of honor. You will start your journey on the path of a paladin. To help you on your way, your strength and intelligence will be increased when you go through the portal to Britannia. Yeah. Your might and your magic skills shall be great. Once you arrive in Britannia, you will find a chest of supplies appropriate to your chosen path that I have left for you in the Tower of Stonegate. Use these supplies wisely, Avatar. Good luck. For your quest will be most difficult. Once in Britannia, seek out Lord British, the wise ruler of the land. Go now to Britannia. Your fate awaits you. Okay. So we are a paladin, which is what we wanted to be. So we shall save it. Okay, so we have a cutscene that's going to come up as well. So I need to fiddle around to get that ready to work. And we're ready to. It's taken me three days to get it all set up to be able to do this. Shit a brick. I think that's a gazer. Fortunately, the gazer is a magic. Ooh. Keeps cutting the sentences off. I think it said its powers. Right, so the plan is, I'm going to go through, I'm going to hit this gate to cancel the cutscene and then pause it by going to the journal so it doesn't play anything. Hopefully it won't reveal anything whilst I'm trying to uh, get the cutscene to play. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's go. I think it's crashed. It's crashed. So we'll play the cutscene and then carry on. This is more like how Ultima Ray ended. There's the stone head, a bit different to how we had it before.
My lord, the Avatar has arrived in Britannia and has been easily dispatched by my worm guard. Do not be so sure. The meddlesome champion of virtue is not so easily defeated. Of course, my lord, but I ask you, where is he now? The Mirror of Darkness would reveal Lord British's lackey. If he the had The Avatar lived... has been teleported to a place hidden from the Mirror's sight. Our virtuous paragon could only have been taken to Stonegate, and by one of great power. Shall I reduce Stonegate to a cinder, my lord? No. I want the champion of Britannia to see what has become of the land and its people. I want to feel his rage burn as he sees what I have done to Britannia. You are to keep the Avatar occupied while I complete my plan for Britannia's conquest. What remains is yours when I am finished. Now leave me. Yes, my lord. So there we go, Blackthorn, who we thought gone in Ultimate 5, who may have appeared in Ultimate 7, Seven Isle. Not entirely sure that we weren't talking to him at one point as one of the monks, but it crashed as I expected it might, so bear with me. Last attempt. Not really, I'm going to keep trying. Hooray! What? Right. So what I did was I've renamed the video file so it didn't play. So, right, Blackthorn. What a bastard, he's back. 